Difficult to watch that video right there. Two years ago tonight, we began our broadcast with this video. A gunman stormed into a Florida school and opened fire. When it was all over, 17 students were dead. Good evening, everyone. We know that video is disturbing, but it's a real horror too many children have experienced. Yeah, shootings like that have led to scenes like this all across America. Active shooter drills designed to show students and staff what to do if they're ever faced with a crisis like that. But tonight there's pushback from students and teachers who say these drills are too traumatizing. Local 12's Genesis Narrows looks at the arguments on both sides. From screams to the sound of an alarm ringing, students nationwide. It's terrifying go through the drills some are now calling traumatic. The psychological effects outweigh what little good happens. Usually when we do this, we're ingraining this idea in students that they're going to have an active shooter in their school, which chances are they won't. And obviously being prepared is um, good. That's an important thing. Um, but students, uh, they shouldn't have to go through these psychological effects. Ethan Nichols is executive director of Ohio Students for Gun Legislation. We're calling on um, the Cincinnati School Board um, to pass a resolution um, banning all Cincinnati public schools um, from using these active shooter drills in classrooms and at all CPS schools um, in the Cincinnati Public School District. Cincinnati School Board member Mike Morosky agrees. I, I personally would love to see the drills go away. But it's not as easy as just a simple vote from the school board. But it's not a call that we can make. Um, I don't have the jurisdiction to do that, nor do my colleagues at state legislatures. But he says changes can be made. So that they're uniform from building to building to building. So we know, for example, um, the principal is letting everyone know it's a drill. Something as basic as that. There's nothing that could prepare you for having an active shooter within your school. But some parents beg to differ. Well, I think it would help out a lot because you just, you never know, you know, and it's, it's good for the kids to be aware of what's going on and what they can and can't, you know, what they should and shouldn't do. And while preparing students for their safety is paramount. It shouldn't come with the psychological effects and the trauma that these trainings do. So, Jenna Cisneros, Local 12 News. In three weeks, the Cincinnati School Board will review a revised policy on these drills and how they could or should work. Then the board will decide how to proceed.